by UDA and ANC in Bungoma County. Deputy President William Ruto and ANC boss Musale Mudavadi are set to hold the rally just days after announcing their new political union. This story has been produced by our Bungoma-based reporter Wanji Sostin and voiced by Mariam Macharo. Leaders allied to the United Democratic Alliance, Amani National Congress and those from Ford Kenya parties were today on an inspection tour of poster showgrounds in Bungoma County ahead of the second joint meeting on Friday. All these with an aim of wooing the electorate to support their pact for the 2022 presidential bid. <laughs> Sakati iko tayari, tunaratarajia kesho serikali yote ya Kenya, ya taretisa, mwezi wanane itakuwa hapa kesho. Sisi kama wana UDA, jam yetu imekuwa ni about bottom up. Na tumeona katika bottom up, tukiendeleza na hii process yetu, tutakuwa na uchumi bora na pesa mfukoni. Na pia tunampongeza simba meingia katika nyumba, inamanisha tutapata protection ya kutosha. Mambo ambayo viongozi wetu wamefanya kukuja pamoja, Iyo ndiyo mwelekeo ambayo sisi tutaendelea kufuata. Na mambo mengine ambayo na kushia kando, iyo muisa hau. Hao ni watu ambayo wananuliwa, wache nao kando. Watu ambolea, toa muakia chumvi na mambo itaisha. The journey for the Mulembe nation in seeking unity has been hectic. And after ANC boss Musalia Mudavadi and Ford Kenya leader Moses Wetangula joined hands with UDA's William Ruto, their allies now say that Mulembe unity is complete by the two. Lawyers are united uh, pamoja na kure itaenda kupikwa pamoja Kenya hii yote. And we are going to surprise the world. Eh, eh, bile hii kure itaenda kupikwa. Hakuna lawyer unity ingine munangwajama leaders wengine. Wale wanatembea kando kando wale ni, ni pure. Hata siyo watu siji. Hata walienda seta usichusi waka eh, president ya kawa igino. Eh, because they are of no value. All the Mlembe people will be here and whoever will be outside, it will be his ticket to go home. Because Kenyans are now know, know where the government is going to be formed. The government is going to be formed from the people who will be here tomorrow. They have however condemned the Azimio La Umoja Brigade from Western Region asking its members to stop insulting their leaders, further urging them to advocate for peace ahead of the election. Moses pamoja na Musalia wa join Aida group ili kwa maana penye walikuwa hawakukua pengine na nguvu. Sasa saa hii saa wamefanya uamuzi ku join the winning team. Tumeona matusi kutoka kwa vibaraka ya huyu mzee. Nataka kuambia kwamba wakati wao umeisha hakuna wakati waluya wameweza kuungana kama vile waungana saa hizi. Ninajua tuna wenzetu ambao hawako mrengo wetu lakini mimi ningeta kwa siku kitu kimoja. Hawa ni ndugu zetu. Tuziwatupie matuzi tusikuwe na furugu sababu baada ya siasa maisha yataendelea na ukienda katika mitaa hakuna mtu anaishi katika mirengo sisi wote tunaishi kama ndugu na dada Elsewhere Kirinyaga County leaders allied to Deputy President William Ruto have protested a move by the government to deny the UDA party a permit to use Wangoro Stadium in Moya constituency for Deputy President William Ruto's meeting on Saturday. When we decided to ask for Deputy President, they decided to tell us that the stadium is not complete. So our question is, was it complete during Mashujade? And then it became incomplete. Was it complete when P.S. Kibicho was using it? This discrimination and lack of giving people a level playing field does not go unnoticed and Kirinyaga people have taken note. The UDA leaders have been forced to look for an alternative ground in Thiba Ward where they will hold their meeting on Saturday. Kutano Wanguru Stadium, Ikue, Isikue, lazima tutafanya mkutano wa Deputy President Mwea, atu huko Thiba. Hatu hami, tunafanyia hapo kwa sababu sisi ni watu wa kirinyaga, sisi ni viongozi. Ini trema ambayo itakuwa kubwa sana na watu wote wamekaribishwa, wakuje na wasikose. Kwa sababu hii ndio itakuwa the mother of all the tremors in Mount Kenya. The leaders have accused Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho of interfering and colluding with the Ministry of Sports officials to allegedly deny them access to the stadium. Mariam Wacharo, TV 57.